midshipmen, 3,400 strong, march in review before President and Mrs. Truman at Philadelphia's Municipal Stadium. The first fans of football are out for the big game and the pre-game spectacle of cadets on parade, pomp and pageantry prior to the plunging, the passing and the punting. And now a salute to the colors and to the new spirit of unification among our armed forces. Defense Secretary Johnson and Attorney General McGrath, Navy Secretary Matthews, Admiral Holloway, General Taylor and Field Marshal Montgomery see the pre-game pageant of floats and banners inspired by the intense rivalry between cadet and midshipmen. Army is rated a 14-point favorite, and 102,000 fans expect another close one like last year. But with Army's Arnold Galipa and company hitting Navy with speed and power plus, it turns into a one-sided contest. All Army. And Navy suffers a resounding defeat. Galipa looking for a receiver. Fischl grabs it for a first down. From the five, Stevenson goes over, and a fumble doesn't help Navy. Nothing seems to help the Navy today against a terrific Army team playing almost flawless ball, both on defense and on offense. Stevenson alone picks up more yardage than the entire Navy attack. Another standout is Gulliffa, master of the tee and the toss. Watch this bullseye pass. Holberg has it, and the Middies have a time bringing him down. A few plays later, Gulliffa gallops around end on a quarterback sneak, and it's six more points for the West Pointers. A roar from the Cadets. From the Middies, deep gloom. This is not last year. Second half, Navy kicks off. Bobby Vinson, 155-pound Texan, hurdles into the limelight with the longest run of the game. 92 yards and another touchdown to make it Army's biggest victory of the Army-Navy Series. <laughs>